Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you because it is tarot time. Our collective read. So guys, listen. If you can't claim this reading in a helpful, positive manner, don't claim it at all. Thank you. All right, let's hit this. Clear a ground for tarot time. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of tarot time. Hold on. Tarot time. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how. We're going to help somebody out there today. Yeah? Yeah. Here we go. Tarot time. Show me. Please and thank you, ancestors. What's going on? What messages? Okay. Here we go. Oh, great. So, Page of Swords. We're starting out already with somebody that's got a microscope on somebody's ass for whatever reason. Okay? So, whether this is you watching somebody or somebody watching you, there it is. Do I have to tell you it's the stalker? <laughs> no, I don't, right? So somebody wants to gather some kind of information. Whoever this is, it does not matter. It could be anybody. I tell you all the time. It could be the nosy friggin' neighbors, because you know we all have them, right? It could be relatives, friends, family of any caliber, right? Relationships of any sort. Now, well, in the past, whatever it is. Let's find out. It could be a, an employer trying to gather information on a future employee. It could be anything like this. So look at this. That lands is right. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you where that lands. Right in my cleavage. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Mm. Sagittarius Energy. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in someone's favor here. It's the number 10. So the 10th could be of significance to October. It's about a turning point of good luck in your life. Okay. It's about the decisions that you make that will change the fate of your destiny. It's good choices though. And it's also about soulmates. So somebody could have a soulmate. That's watching them. Show me. Uh, uh. Show me, please, and thank you. All right, here we go. Judgment in reverse. All right, so here's, look at this. Somebody at the foundation situation was very indecisive and couldn't make a decision which direction to go in, all right, or what to do in a particular situation. The 20th could be of significance. Uh, this boils down to two, so it could be February. We also have, somebody could be 30 years old in the house. The 30th could be of significance. That reduces to three, which is March. So something could be happening by the end of the month. And you have a two garage crowning you. We have twos across the board. A full body awakening. Yeah. So listen, you know, here's the thing. Somebody now crowning, whether this is you or somebody else, is making a decision that they, they failed to make at the foundation of the situation. They're finally getting up off their ass and deciding to make to which way to go in. You know, that's what the two of rods is. Getting up off your ass. They say getting up off the couch. Coming out of a comfort zone, right? The couch is the comfortable place. And then standing up and deciding which way to go. Am I going to the kitchen or am I going to the bathroom? You know what I mean? And then taking deliberate steps in that direction towards your success. So somebody finally made up their minds about something over here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, show me. What do we have? We have Scorpio in the house. We have Sagittarius in the house. Show me. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody be watching somebody make this decision. Okay, now look. Now we have a Three of Cups. So, Three of Cups talks about usually a circle of support around someone. Friendships, celebrations, gatherings, you know, social events, the community. Somebody, <laughs> somebody decided to get up off the couch and go out of the house, out into the community, and maybe hook up with some friends and have a good time, right? Even if they don't hook up with friends, it's, you know, it's, it's enjoying yourself. It's a celebration. I think that you need to do this so that you can bump into your soulmate. Somebody might be clocking somebody here to see where they go and what they do so they can bump into them. Just so you know. So if you're out and somebody bumps into you, oh my God, what are you doing here? Bullshit, okay? They're there because you're there. Know that. Now, how are you looking at this? Because you're my querent. You're the inquiring mind that wants to know. That's why you're here listening to this. And this is in your mind's eye, the back of your head, how you're looking at things, right? Show me. Let me see. How are you perceiving this Three of Cups? I don't feel anything nefarious about it at all. Like I said, somebody could be watching your movements here or where you go, who you hang out with, where are you on a Saturday night, things like this. Especially, listen, especially if you're the type of person that posts every shit that you take onto um, Facebook or something like this, where you let everybody know everything you're doing. I don't understand it, but okay. 
you know, it's a different generation. Um, then somebody could know, like, with, you know, like, oh, Saturday night, we're going to this concert or something, and poof, they're, they're there. Oh, my God, I wonder why. Well, there you go. Show me. <clears throat> I'm seeing peaches, something about peaches. Oh, <laughs> now I'm hearing Justin uh, Bieber. My God, do I love that kid. Okay, I got my peaches down in Georgia. Uh, 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 I get my weed in California. Well, maybe somebody's taking a ride to California. Cali, <laughs> pick up some bud. <laughs> this is what. All right, let me see what's going on. <clears throat> Can I please see how the Aquarian is seeing this? <laughs> oh, are they seeing this? And here we go. Okay, look at this. This is good, <laughs> whoever you are out there. Because you're looking at this in the back of your head like, wow, this is a new beginning. This is going to be fun. This is something you also, too. You're thinking that this was spontaneous. Like, oh, my God, what did I just tell you? What are you doing here? No, then this is not spontaneous. This person planned to be where you are. I'm telling you this, okay? High priestess, they were using their intuition. They were very secretly plotting to, yeah, for this new beginning, Aries energy, something original, something new, some kind of travel. It is a fresh idea. It is a new path opening up. It's taking a chance. Here we are, an opportunity of a lifetime. All right, so this is good. Somebody's happy. Somebody's really into those pocketbooks, those name brand pocketbooks. <clears throat> somebody here, gentlemen, somebody needs to shave unless you're growing some kind of um, goatee or something. I don't know. Show me. Okay. So in your actual environment, whoever you are out there. Ooh, it's the King of Swords. Boy, do I like the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First of all, listen. If you like to have all kinds of intelligent conversations about anything, just conversations. If, you, if you're a talker, you're going to love the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very intelligent. They know a little bit about everything, or a lot about everything. And they can articulate themselves very well. Plus, they're very balanced and disciplined. They have a lot of integrity. I mean, it's an honest, perceptive, quick-thinking person. It's not the most warm and cuddly person in the world. i got to be honest with you. The King of Swords is more like hooking up with Dr. Spock. <laughs> but, you know, that's not a bad thing, right? Um, no, it's good. Because if you can get them to be affectionate, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> so this is somebody who is, uh, you know, an intentional leader, very strategic. Probably very tall and good looking. I'm telling you, somebody's got, somebody can be growing like, I don't know, I don't think you call it a goatee. But it's like the hair all over the face, but not like a long beard. All right. Let's see. So, you have somebody who's really intelligent here that knows something, by the way. They know something. They might know that they're the one that's watching you. Because this is the only one with the sword in the situation over here. Yeah. Show me what your best advice is, Spirit. Spirit, give them the best advice. What are they going to do? See, this is something that got... Okay. So, you see this page of swords? This is who this person is that's in your environment. Obviously, they're going to be in your environment even faster than you think because they're going to invite you out somewhere here with this rule. I'm not invite you out. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's the allergy medicine. Listen, you're going to be out, but this person's calculating something here. How to, how to get you out somewhere so it looks spontaneous. But it's not. I'm telling you right now. Show me. I don't know what. Okay. So let's see. My advice here is if you're the type of person that doesn't go out much, get your ass out there. Anything you're invited to, go, go, go. Because this is, somebody's really taking the, listen, this person has really took the time out. And this person can be thinking about anything. I told you, they're very intelligent. To figure out how to be successful, to have, to have a victory with you here. See the six of rods? They're figuring out how to do this. And, and, you know, they're formulating a plan. They're putting a lot of, a lot of, um, effort into this. They think, you know, that's a lot of effort. They can be thinking about anything, the King of Swords. They don't have to be thinking about how to get your ass out someplace, you know, catch you out someplace in a social environment so that, um, yeah, we can start this new adventure together. See what I'm saying? Maybe at the foundation of the situation, whether you knew them or not, and somebody was indecisive about a path to take. It looks like this motherfucker made up their minds, I'm telling you right now. So, what is the best advice for, okay, the best, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Are you ready? I love you guys. Look, it's a ten of freaking freaking cups. So this, see, okay, hold on. First, this, first of all, <laughs> let me tell you, this is the happy. This is one of the happiest cards because it's about emotional fulfillment. It's about domestic harmony. It's about security and alignment, happiness, love, family, total support and contentment. So whoever you are, if this is your situation. 
And, uh, you know, you have Aries and Sagittarius and Scorpio as the most predominant. Because it could be anything, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You, you know, just go out and enjoy yourself. Live in the moment and don't even think about this. Because if this is you and somebody's watching you, they're going to do all the work to make an effort to offer this new opportunity. Like, you're going to... Look at this person. I'm going to just... <laughs> just uh, look at this person. This person on the food card, this Aries over here, John Lottie Dottie, just like to party. We don't bother nobody. We're just two friends who's on the mic, and when we rock the mic, right? Look, here we go. Rocking the mic with your friends. You may be even at karaoke over here since I'm... I listen, by the way... I know a few of you ask me, please stop singing. And I get it. I do. I do. I do. I am not a singer. But, you know, it's part of the channeling. Yeah, look. On their way out with their little pocketbook. All like, you know. Yeah. Looking like a tasty treat here. Right? <laughs> Somebody's coming. They're coming. This person's really put a lot of thought into this. All right? Because I think this person sees you as their... Um, now, I don't know how, so obviously you must know this person somehow, some way, or maybe you're out there, like I said. Remember I said on social platforms, letting everybody know your business? So, if that's the case, don't don't wonder how do they know me, because you're telling everybody. Show me. you got to learn to keep your shit on the down low. It's on a need-to-know basis, and believe me when I tell you, I learned that the hard way. I'm not just popping, you know, shit off the top of my head. There was a time when I couldn't even, you know... Walk around the corner without telling everybody, I'm walking around the corner. Big freaking deal, nobody cares. Or like a Christmas time. Everybody posts a Christmas tree like nobody knows what a Christmas tree looks like. Now, you can't, you don't get nothing from me. All you get is tarot. That's it. Nobody knows what my left hand, my left hand does not know what my right hand is doing. I had a, it's, it's a tough lesson to learn, but it's important, I'm going to tell you. So you learn it. Now, show me what, um... Oh, uh, now it's popping in my head. Ruby Frankie, I just watched the documentary. See that lady? She put her shit all over the internet about raising her kids. Turns out she wound up in jail now for four years for abusing her kids because what she was posting on the internet turned out to be child abuse. So, you know, I don't know. Just, it's a lesson to keep your shit on the down low. Now, I'm not saying anybody's doing anything wrong out there. I'm just saying. Maybe you don't think you're doing something wrong. I don't think that that lady did. Or if she did, I don't know. It didn't seem that way. She just seemed like an idiot, but that's besides the point. Um, but boy, was she ever. So now let's see. I don't know who needs to hear all that. This is supposed to be really quick so I could go back to bed with my allergy medicine. Somebody here ate a pentacles, but it's in reverse. Somebody here, um, might, listen, somebody here might be, um, misdirected or have a lack of motivation or maybe be lazy. Oh, okay. When this happens, you know how sometimes like you're all gung-ho in your life, you're working hard, you're doing your little thing, right? And then, and then love comes along. Sometimes love, it knocks you down. It comes around, it knocks you down. It probably doesn't sound like it in my head, but, um, and then you, all of a sudden you ease up on work. You forget about everything and everyone because, oh my God, I'm in love. Don't let that happen. If you're work, if you know, if you've been working hard for something in your life, continue to work hard. I think that also this person would respects that about you that you like, you know, whatever you got going on here. Because with the eight of pentacles in reverse, this is like later for everything. I'm not putting any effort into anything anymore. Um, because I'm in love. <laughs> All right, so here you go. The high priest is Pisces energy. Okay, what did I tell you about doing everything on the down low? There's a reason why things come out of my face. I don't think of these things to tell you. Like, really, if it was up to me, I'd have nothing to say. So this is spirit. So that's a spirit telling you, everybody that hears my voice, maybe you should be a little more, you know, have a little more discretion with the things that you're posting. If everybody's knowing everything, if you're that type of a person. Somebody's stuck up in their head here. Somebody can be stuck up in their head about some kind of spirituality or something that they need to keep on the down low. There is a new beginning with somebody from the past. After somebody did a lot of soul searching and figured out which way they wanted to go in a situation, you could have Virgo in the house now. Somebody's, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> somebody's about to offer somebody some kind of new beginning here. Some kind of solid new beginning. Now, I will tell you, with the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess, we could have a tarot reader in the house. So I could be speaking to a fellow tarot reader. Shout out, guys. I love you all. Or, um, you know, somebody who's dealing with one. Somebody could have readings being done on somebody. Absolutely. From the past. Anyway, somebody did some soul searching here. And here they come. Dun, 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 dun. Save the day. Because now they want to take the lead and gain some momentum in this situation. And balance things out. Look at this. Look at this. You got the Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups here. Can you believe this? I, again, who are you? Who are you? Who's, whose energy is this? I love you. Like, you are the, one of the most luckiest people coming in. You really are. Look at this, man. Somebody from the past is coming back around. They could have Virgo in their chart. Somebody's going to come off of some kind of a, a solid new beginning. 
But somebody's stuck in their head over here worried about it. Whatever you do, keep it on the down low. Somebody's balancing themselves out because there's going to be some kind of truth. Fairness and balance coming into a um, situation. And then look, the sun, the happiest card in the deck. The sun and victory. And then spirit stopping me there. But do I stop? No. That just means just keep going. No. <laughs> when nobody's looking. All right, guys. Um, let me see. You have Pisces here. You have Aries. You have Sagittarius and Scorpio. I am just going to get you a couple of letters because I know you can hear in my voice how congested I am. Um, yeah. The bump of balloon head thing. I think I said that. I don't even know. <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so now I'm hearing that song. You're my lady. <laughs> What's that? By, um, oh God, by Kenny, Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. I don't even listen to that music. What the hell is that? All right. Well, it is what it is. I mean, dialysis. Somebody that might need to go to dialysis. Well, there's a daily something going on here. Something on a daily. Triple A, something about a car. Be careful if you, you know, just make sure, listen, you want to get in the car. It's a pain in the ass. I don't want to do it either. I'm no mechanic, but check the air. Make sure your fluids are right. You don't want to get stuck somewhere. That sucks. Okay, somebody could be getting some kind of a FedEx package. I'm seeing FedEx. Somebody's name is Lexi. Alexis. Or somebody drives a Lexus. T L. On the down low. Keep everything on the down low. All right? Especially when it involves an X. We don't need anybody knowing what we're doing. Maybe some of you this is an X. Look, here we go. Now we have two L's. D X T. I'm hearing DMX. Maybe somebody likes him. Three A's, two E's, and I. Two L's, D X, and a T. All right, me and my bumper balloon head is going to go back to bed. <laughs> hey, I like that. I rhymed. All right. Listen, always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Karma is real. Until next time, love and light and laughter.